Hello everyone. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a video. I've had some issues with uh, with YouTube as far as the email problem, but uh, I got that straightened out and um, I'm going to be making some videos again. Uh, today I want to do a video on a particular model of knife that I make. Uh, it's called the UNK and UNK is for utility neck knife. Um, this is a small uh, EDC everyday carry uh, type of knife. Um, since the uh, popularity of small fixed blades has uh, risen quite a bit over the last couple of years, um, they seem to be a pretty popular type of knife for people to carry who don't want to carry folding knives or prefer to carry a small fixed blade where it's legal in their area. Uh, most of the small fixed blades are neck knives, um, considered a neck knife type of knife, but uh, they can be carried in the pocket or, or uh, in a sheath on your belt or however you want. You know, there's three different ways you can carry this particular knife. Um, and the one thing about it the, uh, that I like about it is it's so versatile. Uh, I'll get into describing what the, uh, the design is. Uh, the design idea came about uh, by a good friend of mine, Mike Lychok. Um He is a uh, practices survival, wilderness survival. He's a 25-year retired uh, police lieutenant who had, I believe, 25 or 24 years in SWAT. So uh, he knows a little bit about weapons and uh, he knows a lot about knives and uh, he helped me or he actually came up with the idea and we kind of like worked together on it um, and the knife is the blade style is called a modified sheep's foot um, a regular sheep's foot if anybody's familiar with it is uh, a lot of times you find them on a stockman knife they have their come straight across the top then they go down and then the edge is straight and it's a utility type knife like a razor razor blade or a uh, these razor knives that they have now with this particular sheep's foot which is modified the you can see it here it goes down it starts with uh, a one inch width here then the spine goes down and then goes down on a like a about a 45 degree angle down to a point and the cutting edge actually has a quarter inch belly to it so you got a little bit of curve up here whereas with the regular sheep's foot it's straight across down the point comes down to the straight a straight edge um, this tapers in this area to three quarter of an inch um, and the nice thing about this knife is it's got a lot of point strain. But this was the idea Mike had for the blade shape, to do a modified sheep's foot blade. Then the decision was what type of handle were we gonna do and how long we were, were we gonna make the knife, the blade and the handle overall size. So the original one I make for Mike, he has the first one ever made. It had a, trying to remember, it had a three and a half inch blade, three inch cutting edge. I think that's what it was. It might have been, might have been a little bit shorter than that. I can't quite remember. But the handle was, the handle was three and a half. And um, basically, what the handle was was the PSK knife that I make. Uh, the PSK knife, now this is a larger size, but that's what the PSK knife handle was like. Just a very simple handle shape. This has a spear point, but this is the PSK knife. So what we did was, what, I, what, I, what we decided to do was to take the PSK handle design and add it to the modified sheep's foot blade. And what I did was I changed the back part here, I dropped this down more, more so than what's on the PSK. You can see the, the shape of the handle, back of the handle is different. Just to change it a little bit. But 
the finger cut out and everything is the same basic style as the PSK. Um, so that's the one I made for Mike. The handle was a little bit short, and he agrees now that he that he's had it for a while, that it it was it should have been longer. So what I did was I took um, this. Actually, I'll go back to this, but this is a different from what the standard model is. The standard model is seven inches overall. It has a three and a quarter inch blade, which is from the point to here, Ricasso, this area between the handle and the cutting edge. Cutting edge is three inch, so you got a three inch blade, a three inch cutting edge, three and a quarter inch. This is three and three quarters. You wouldn't believe how much a quarter inch length on the handle makes. It makes a big difference. So this is the, um, the size that I make them now. Seven inches overall. Um, this one has green canvas micarta and uh, natural uh, linen liners. Um, now, as far as uh, the design goes, the design is very, very versatile. You can do, you can do a lot with this knife. Um, it's great for utility, for cutting, like if you want to cut cardboard, if you want to cut rope, if you want to cut anything like that. But what I've found this knife excels at is, is, is as a hunting knife. Um, it is probably, it is, it is definitely my favorite design for a deer hunting knife. Um, it is just works so well for gutting. You lay the lay your thumb in there like that, and you're able to, to to gut an animal without having any problem at all. This blade design is great for that. It's also good for, um, like I said, general utility. It's good for bushcraft woodcraft type of job, uh, work. You can carve with it. You can make feather sticks. You can do a lot of the different bushcraft things with this blade. The only thing it doesn't really do that well is drill if you need to. It doesn't do bad, but a spear point's much better. The traditional bushcraft style knife is much better for that type of, uh, type of thing. If you're making a bow drill or something like that or if you need to, to drill holes but uh, it does well with notching I mean if you want to I actually tried to make a uh, a bow drill the, the fireboard I'm not real familiar with doing that I'm you know I don't practice that too much but I was able to get in there and cut out the uh, the section where the spindle goes and and everything with it with a UNK but me uh, my favorite outdoor pursuit is, is whitetail deer hunting and I've used this design on several deer and it just is unbelievable. It's probably the best designed blade that I've ever used for a hunting knife. Um, I recently went on a uh, hog hunt down in Georgia back in March and uh, I don't have the knife I used here but it the, the one the, I actually have three that are these are these are actually for sale they're up on my website they're available for sale these these four as a matter of fact uh, three UNKs and I have PSK but um, the, uh, the the one I used on the hog uh, and this one also I made the blade a little bit shorter I went with a two and um, two and three quarter inch blade and a two and a half inch cutting edge. So I went uh, a little bit shorter on the blade. The handle length's the same. I just wanted something a little bit shorter that was easier to carry in my pocket. Um, but I was able to skin a uh, 276 pound hog with the other one that I have, it's at home. and. I was able to do it, and I've never skinned a hog before. That was my first one. I was able to do it in about 20 to 30 minutes, closer to 20 minutes. Very effective, and then, and yeah, the, my hands were covered in grease. It was, it was a mess, and the knife never moved out of my grip. 
it, I, yeah, I didn't have any problem with it slipping or anything like that. Because of this design and having the power, power point basically, you can really get in there and uh, you got a lot of uh, power with this point. You can get in there and skin really good with it. You're able to move and, and skin very well with that style blade. Um, so I was very extremely pleased with, with the performance of that. Now the carry options, it was originally designed to be a neck knife. Uh, some people may think it's too heavy for a neck knife. I'm not one, I don't particularly care for wearing knives around my neck. I'd rather wear them on my belt. My favorite way to carry them is in my pocket. Um, the um, Kydex sheath is one option of carry. Now this one, and these, these items I have set up on here, I got from Mike. Um, this was his uh, like small survival kit on a, a UNK sheath. And uh, this particular one is, a, this one's actually a little bit larger than the standard. Uh, this one is um, a little bit wider, same length, seven inches overall, but it's a, just a, a tad bit wider. Uh, the, ki the Kydex can be carried as a neck sheath, which I have this cut off and put under here, but you can actually wear this as a neck knife. And, you know, it would, it would hang like that. Now, what I have in here, which is Mike, again, I got this from Mike. You've got, I don't, I don't have the one item though that he suggested. I, I don't have it right now, but um, a means of making fire. I've got a four inch furrow rod. I've got uh, cotton balls and Vaseline in a baggie. Actually, these are tender quicks, but um, a way to, you have know, some tender in there. And then on this side, so you got fire, you got your knife, you got fire, the ability to make fire. Here's a little photon light in here, you got light. And then the other item I don't have in here would be a compass. So you have navigation, you have fire, you have lighting, and you have your knife. So it's just the basics of a, of a kit that you can have with you all the time. And it can be carried in a Kydex. Now, when I carry it, if I've got like Carhartts on, I just carry it in this this pocket right here, like that. It goes right in that side pocket, or you can carry it in your front pants pocket. If I got a pair of jeans on, I'll wear it in that pants pocket. The other method of carry would be a leather pocket sheath. These are knife ship free. Uh, sells these. This is the Pocono model, and I had a sharpening rod in there. Now this one, you can carry it in your back pocket. You can carry it in your front pocket. I'm a lefty, so I carry it in this front pocket and you can pull the knife out, use it. There's no opening like a folder. Use it, do what you have to do and put it right back in, in your pocket. Handy way to carry a fixed blade. Um, nobody even knows you have it. Uh, and of course, the third way, which is the traditional way to carry a fixed blade will be with a belt sheath. Now this one can also be used, you can run a piece of paracord through the belt loop and you could carry it as a handle up neck sheath too if you wanted. This can also be carried in the pocket if you wear these type of pants, it can go right in this pocket also. So that's another, this is like a dual carry method, pocket or belt, or actually three ways, neck, pocket or belt with this type of sheath. Um, I think that about covers it. Uh, you know, I mean, it's it's just a great little design. Um, it was a great idea that Mike had, and he and I worked together on it, and you know, got these knives this this design together, and uh, it's just become my favorite everyday carry knife. I mean, not because I make them. You know, I mean, of course that helps, you know, because I can make as many as I want, but uh, but it's just a great design. It does everything well that I've done with it, whether it's hunting, whether it's everyday use, whether it's uh, 
cutting cardboard, uh, you know, you could cut carpet with it. I mean, basic general utility knife. You know, the, the, uh, the uses are un unbelievable. Um, I do want to mention the steel types that I offer in this particular knife. Um, carbon steels, carbon tool steels, A201 or D2. Uh, I also offer it in CPM stainless steels. CPM S35VN, CPM 154 or CPM S90V. Um, the S90V is the one I have here in my pocket. This is the S35. Uh, the one I used on the hog and the one I've been using for deer processing deer is CPM 154. That is an excellent steel. When I got finished skinning that hog, I was able to shave hair off my arm. That stuff holds an edge great. Um, people that like the plain carbon tool steels, A2 or O1 would be the way to go. Uh, a lot of people like the D2. That's another good knife that holds an edge if you like a carbon steel. A2 and O1, they do pretty good on their own as far as edge holding goes. Um, and uh, all these steels are easy to sharpen. There's no problem at all with, with resharpening. You just use diamond sharpeners. That's usually what I recommend. But um, I think that about covers it. Uh, if you're interested in the knife, I actually have these three here are available on my website online store. Uh, this one is CPM 154 with green canvas and natural Macarta liners. This one is A2. It has green liner canvas or uh, green Macarta liners and black Macarta on the outside. And then this is another CPM 154. This is uh, green linen micarta with black micarta liners. Um, these are available for sale if you're interested. The PSK knife I have here, um, which is another extremely popular um, everyday carry knife that I make. This one's A2 with red liners and natural canvas. Uh, so if you're interested in any of those, you can check them out on the website. Um, and I think that about covers it. I uh, appreciate everybody watching. I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. And until the next time, I'll see you guys later.